Alrighty, how's it going guys? Um, so sorry once again, it's been forever since I made a video. Kind of seems like something I always do. I'll make a bunch of videos one week, then won't make any for a month. Um, but I'm done with school and done with work until January, so I've got a bunch of time on my hands. Anyway, here's the old snake room. Um, you have to excuse it, it's still really dirty, still a work in process. As you can see, I've moved my bedroom into here. Oh, not snake room anymore. I'm washing my sheets and stuff. I'm still in the process of moving everything. Um, so the snake room is now in my old bedroom, which is a bigger room. I spend a lot more time in there anyway, so I thought it was more appropriate to put the reptiles in there. But uh, I've been talking about getting a new camera forever, and I'm getting the uh, Canon T3i, which shoots amazing video um, for Christmas. So I'll be having some awesome videos come out after Christmas. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this um, beforehand since I hadn't done a video in so long I figured I would kind of just get, at least give y'all something. This is a new cage. It's actually an early Christmas present. Um, well, my mom got it for me for Christmas and I kind of just never took it home so I'm assuming I can go ahead and use it. But as you can see I got Ka the scrub python in here. This is a cage by design cage. It's four foot wide by two and a half foot deep and five foot tall um, which is a really good size cage. These things retail for somewhere in the ballpark of $1,200 plus shipping and handling. Uh, I've always wanted one, but way out of my price range. But I found this Joker on Craigslist for $200, and uh, I just could not pass it up. It's awesome. That's all really nice plexiglass. Um, I just put Kai in here about an hour ago, and he's been chilling up here the whole time. As you can see, he really seems to like it, which is awesome. He's a great display snake. And I hated having him in a cage where I couldn't really see him good. So yeah, this is going to be the only cage in my room, at least for right now. Um, I'll probably put a few little tarantulas and stuff up on the bookshelves, whatever. I don't really have a lot of room in here. And yeah, there he is. Um, I've got everything in the reptile room. I've got everything set up. Um, I have to. I still have to hook up a few more lights and kind of clean up, tidy up. And uh, I'm still not 100% happy where everything is, but for now it'll be cool. So probably I will do a video of the reptile room with sometime this week. I will most likely, if I have the time, which I should, I'll do a video of the reptile room. Um, just like a quick little overview of it. And then once I get my new camera for Christmas, I'm definitely going to be putting a lot of videos up, um, a lot of more detail about the snake since you'll actually be able to see them on my new camera because this one sucks you can see Ka very well because he is a huge snake and it's <laughs> easy to get to him but uh, some of the snakes that you can't see so well on this camera and then definitely some videos of the tarantulas because you will be able to see those really well on my new camera at least I'm hoping um, I kind of just have the stock lens for it now because uh, the camera itself is so expensive and then I'll buy a few more lenses over the next few months but anyway guys, um, if you have the money, I would definitely recommend buying these cages. It's super light. It's all made out of, I think it's like aluminum. It's kind of sketchy putting it together. It didn't go together as well as I would have liked it to. But now that it is together, it's held together really well. It's all really lightweight material. Um, all of this stuff in there is actually made out of foam. And you could hold it on your pinky <laughs> if you're able to balance it. It's really, really light. Um, and it's like drilled through the back. So... Yeah, and this one's got a nice base on it so the snake can climb on it. I was worried that he was going to knock, knock it over or maybe break those off the wall. But we did kind of a strength test, and they're super strong. So if you have the money or find one of these for cheap, don't hesitate to buy it. They are amazing. Um, I've always dreamed about having This isn't necessarily one of the nicer models. This is one of the more economic models they have I guess everything's pretty simple it's not really extravagant with a full rock background and nice furniture looking um, but it's still just super nice and clean awesome cage and Kyle seems to love it so anyway guys take it easy and like I said sorry about not doing any videos um, I'll do a video of the reptile room coming up soon and uh, rate this and comment and subscribe if you like it